Hello there everyone, the Andrada here, and welcome back to episode 52 of our All the Mods 9 to the Sky Let's Play series, where today we are controlling the sky. We are manipulating the celestial body of the sun by creating our own power of daytime, something like that. I don't know, I was trying to make it sound epic. It didn't work. Anyway, we're doing this. Uh, let's get started. Welcome back, my friends, to another wonderful day here in the world of the Andrada, or I guess evening. Um, where today we're taking care of that. I don't like it anymore. I'm tired of the sun. Uh, we don't need any. Or I'm tired of the nighttime. We need sun all the time. I want to get that nice tan going, nice sunburn. Uh, so we are getting rid of the moon and bringing the sun out all the time with uh, Celestial Manipulator from Draconic. Uh, maybe we'll start working towards getting some of the other All the Mod Stars stuff, too. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, in the last episode, we had left ourselves off. Let me take a quick nap because uh, it's going to mess up the things that we did last episode. Um, but if I take a quick nap there, we left off getting our antimatter. So we currently have 409 millibuckets of antimatter in our system. Halfway to our first piece of antimatter, which is great. Um, but I want to AFK to let it build up, but I kind of can't. Because if I let it go to nighttime, we may run out of tritium. And I don't want that to happen because then we run out of power. So, uh, speaking of power, how are we doing? Are we full up yet? Now ah, we're getting there. Three trillion. So what I would like to do is get into Draconic and work on getting ourselves the Celestial Manipulator. Um, and looking through the quests for Draconic, by the way, I did turn in all the mechanism quests. Didn't get anything exciting. Bummer. Um, looking through Draconic, you know, our, our quest line has us going through, obviously, the Draconic tiers. But as I look through Draconic, I do not see anything in here that the All the Mod Star requires. Um, granted, I am on an older version of the pack, and I'm, I just don't feel like updating. I'm... There, I'm sure since all the mod has been, or um, since uh, Draconic has been added, it's probably been updated to require some stuff, but I don't have anything in here that requires Draconic at all. Um, and I don't feel like uh, ah, chaotic energy controller. There it is. It's just not marked in the quest. So I do have to actually go through Draconic. Uh, I have to get Draconic cores and all that stuff. Okay. I lied. Ignore uh, the Andrada. I do have to go through the whole quest in order to get the Dragon Soul. Okay, so we do need to get Draconic fully set up with the, the crafting cores, the infusion cores, and all of that good good stuff going. Uh, so let's go to Draconic. We need to get ourselves, uh, you know, fusion crafting. That's the core. Um, we're also going to need to get the uh, injectors, and I believe right now we can get ourselves up to Wyvern tier. Um without having to do anything special to get to draconic tier we're gonna have to get awakened draconium um which is gonna require me to uh now that gives me four awakened draconium blocks which are they used yeah each block is used to upgrade to draconic i could do that and get four of those anyway i'm just looking to see you know like the cost of this uh i have to go kill dragons in order to do this to get the dragon heart so i'd have to go respawn the end dragon i have one from our fight um but i'm gonna end up needing more ultimately anyway long story short let's get into this uh what i my major goal here right now to make sure that it's not nighttime anymore um is the celestial manipulator and the celestial manipulator does not require me to actually get into draconic at all it just requires me to craft wyvern cores um which are a standard crafting recipe, nothing nothing fancy about it at all. So I can just go ahead and do this, and bam, we have a Celestial Manipulator. Um, we can also grab ourselves a rain sensor from Draconic uh, to determine if it's raining or not. I don't know if I need two of these Celestial Manipulators, uh, one specifically for day, one specifically for rain, so we will find that out. I know I do need, though, a daylight sensor, a vanilla daylight detector, um, and we can utilize this to m operate our um, Celestial Manipulator. So if I wanted to go ahead and set this up, uh, I could go ahead and set it up like over here should be fine. Like, I think we'll be OK. Does the daylight disk sensor need direct access to the sun? That's a good question. And that's an answer I don't have. Um, but the Celestial Manipulator is going to require power. So we can go ahead and grab ourselves a nice ender gate, pop that onto there, and we have power. And the Celestial Manipulator, okay, so it does have two modes, weather and time. Um, so we're probably are, we probably are going to need two of these, one to stop it from raining and then one to um, get the daytime to go. Um, but anyway, if we come in here, we click the button, skip the sunrise, it's going to operate. It's going to do the thing. You can kind of hear it. And it's running. We should see Mr. Mr. Sun. Yeah, look, we're going quick. It's zooming through night. And then 
we I zoomed through an entire day. Man, you're not the fastest thing in the world, are you there, Mr. Celestial Manipulator? That's okay, though. It's close enough to being good. Um, so then it'll just jump us straight to sunrise. And normally it would be operating only when um, I would be, uh, you know, when nighttime hits. So it only have to skip through nighttime, not daytime as well. Um, but what we want is redstone. We want it to... Oh, can we configure both? I want it to be, oh no, okay, so I can only do one. So I want it to be at sunrise. When it receives a redstone signal, it becomes sunrise. Um, so if I have my daylight detector, this is going to detect whether it is day, right? But I can switch it to determine if it's nighttime, can't I? So if I have this set up over here, and I put it in... Night mode. Ah, it just triggered because it was detecting daylight. But what this should do is only trigger when it's nighttime. Now that it's in, uh, well, night mode. Now if I grab another one of these bad boys, I gotta let it run, do its thing. Can't nothing I can do about it. I could click stop skipping, but at this point, what's it matter? Uh, if I come over here and I get a rain sensor. Now the rain sensor I'm going to assume probably has to have direct access to see if it is actually raining. So like, that's this block? Yeah, okay. So if I do that, and then I go ahead and place the Draconic Rain Sensor there, it should just, when it starts to rain, detect. Uh, I grab a Celestial Manipulator, we place it here. You're on weather mode, configure, you clear the skies. Uh, you always make sure that it's clear skies. If we come here, grab an Ender Gate, and pop that on there, now this has power. And so whenever it starts raining, it should just automatically clear skies. And this, whenever it becomes nighttime, so whenever there is not enough daylight, this should trigger and turn it into daytime, in theory. Now my question is, this daylight detector, uh, currently it is saying it is five. Is it because it is below the tree? Yes, so it doesn't have direct access to the sun. So the same problem is going to apply here. Um, so let's just go ahead and it doesn't look great, but I can just go ahead and punch a hole and now we should be at power zero. Okay, so it is not nighttime. This thing is good to go. Cool. So now we should no longer have to worry about nighttime. I'm excited to see if that actually works and it should be pretty simple setup over there and rain, both of which have been uh, the bane of this playthrough, to be honest with you. Uh, nighttime, not so much, except for recently when we're working on our um, tritium and all that stuff. But for sure, the rain has been driving me crazy this series. Um, anyway, with that being done, uh, hopefully that works. We'll find out when it becomes nighttime, if it just zooms past night and see what happens. That being said, we can clear off our to-do list of these things and we can start working towards getting um, Draconic Evolution set up. Uh, before I do that, though, I did take a look at what the Improbable Probability device is going to require and we should be able to actually crank out most of this stuff. Um, now, this does show a nitro that is completely full, so we are going to need to get two nitro batteries, both that are going to hold four billion uh, or well, two billion um power so we'll get those going and let those fill up uh, so that takes care of the power banks the batteries for the um improbable probability we're working on antimatter uh, vibrant capacitor bank i taught the system how to make all the stuff needed for this so it should be able to do that really quick um swift wolf's rending gale i made an iron band so we should just be able to grab that and then throw that in now that's got creative flight didn't know that interesting uh Fiber capacitor bank, you're making the capacitors. And Ender IO, our Ender IO setup is extremely slow. Um, the power capacitor I taught the system how to make, so we should be able to craft a high density power capacitor. And that is where that's going to leave us. Now, for everything else up here, um, the fiber capacitor bank just gotta wait. For the flight module, in order to get this going, we need gas tiers. We have, we can make infused ender pearls. We can make the model plus, um, oops, I forgot to teach us how to make a model template. Uh, so we need to do this, this, and this, which should be easy enough. Uh, I am running out of room in my uh, tree. I only have one and a half slots available. So I'm kind of sort of being conservative with what we auto craft at this point. Um, are you a quest? Nope. Okay. Don't need that. Uh, flight module, we can now go ahead and request this. The only thing, ah, come on. I have glass, like you know how to make glass now. I don't know why that's still an issue. 
The only thing that we don't have the capability to do is get this syringe um, that requires us to, uh, you know, beat up a gas, essentially. In order to do this, we need um, gas. And I don't know. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the syringe needs to be full. So I got to go find a gas in the nether and then punch it with this syringe to fill it up. And then we can craft the flight module. So I will work on doing that. Uh, I did look up on the discord gas do spawn in the nether. I did go pop into the nether to see if we could find a gas and I did not. Um, so I don't know how long it's going to take to actually find the gas, but we can find one in there. So that is something I can work on in between episodes, um, as we're waiting for our antimatter. So the only other major thing that we need for the improbable probability device, um, speaking of other devices, how are we doing on our black hole? Can I craft this yet? No, still cannot craft this. We are still waiting on four more, uh, gold, four more iron, one more redstone. So. It's going to be a little while, but we still got things to do. Um, yeah, the only other thing that we need to make is this printed accumulation circuits uh, in order to get these mega storage components going. And these are uh, fairly simple. It's just uh, it's a standard recipe for your inscribers. However, it requires sky stone or sorry, sky steel, which we already have available to craft. Uh, so I did go ahead and make myself an extended ex inscriber. Why? I don't know. I went extended. I just was like, hey, we haven't had one. Um, I don't really know how I want to tap this into this system. I don't honestly think I do. This works perfectly how we have it set up here. It is very overcomplicated, this setup, and I do not want to mess with it. Um, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and put this somewhere else that I have a channel going or a channel available to me. And then this will just operate there. Um, and I went ahead and configured uh, this exporter to export those accumulation circuits. So if I just have those come into this and or come out of this and go into the system, it'll auto export and turn into the other pieces because that's the only thing these are used for, right? Yeah, turning into those processors. So I think that'll be okay. It Because my setup over there was overkill um, and it was always overkill, I, nothing I, I mean, I was going to say nothing I could do about it. I could have not made it so overcomplicated um, and honestly used one of these extended inscribers in the first place to get it set up, uh, but I didn't. So I'm not going to worry myself too much about it. OK, um, let's go ahead and do this and then this so we can connect this up. So now this is going to be over here and I actually want to go ahead and break this uh, so we can name this the accumulation inscribe excuse me uh oh, i remember now uh accumulation because my hotkey is b if i type a b while i have that open it closes my uh narrator thing narrates oh, all nope what is that how did i do narrator that? narrator Nothing. narrator uh, apparently control all. b turns on a narrator <laughs> careful when you're pressing your buttons Okay, so that's the accumulation inscriber. So what we should be able to do is allow this to auto export. Uh, we can put a universal press into here. And if I come in here and I say I want these um, and I go to my crafting and I say, hey, just put sky steel ingots into this. Uh, theoretically, this should honestly just work. Uh, it does recommend to only keep it as a stack of one if I'm going to hook a pattern provider directly up to it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, and then extraction. And it's any side, right? Yeah. So if I request accumulation, if I request one of these, are you going to work? You go in. And you do the thing. Okay. And it worked. Okay. Sweet. I like it. Acceleration cards. Bam. And if I request now, um, that should have automatically gone over here. Right? Uh, okay. So now I need to just figure out how did I set this up many, many moons ago. Uh, so I need extract from this. Uh, is that you? No. Is it you? No, uh, it must be the insert. I don't know. Uh, insert, no, insert, no, insert. What? What is controlling why this is not pulling out of there? Because this should come out of here and then get crafted up. Ah, oh, it needs fluix dust too. So, hmm, if I want, 
It's not redstone dust. It's fluix dust that comes into this. So really, I should probably just let this handle all of that. Okay. Um, so next inscription. So here's the, here's the question. How is this going to do this? We're going to find out very quickly. How does this advance inscriber work? Because if I want to do this, are you going to allow that to happen? Like if I say, hey, I want, I want, what is this called? Accumulation processor? I don't think I have any of that silicone in here. I have all of the silicone getting smooshed out. I don't have any silicone, excuse me. You are using refined storage silicone. Um, let's go here. I need you to get fixed and use this silicone, please. And you went here. The only problem is, is all of it's going to export, uh, or I have currently all of this stuff exporting here. Hmm. Anyway, let me grab 64 of these. We're about to find out if we can get, turn into night at least. Oh, I hear it. You can hear it. It did it. And we're just zooming through. Okay. I don't need the sound. Now that I know it works, I don't need a draconic sundown. Because that is quite loud. And I'm quite far away from it. And I can still hear it going on. So... Um, yeah, let's go ahead and throw these into job two. Oh man, I don't, I don't know how I want to set this up. Then this is going to be complicated because I over-engineered this. What I need to do is have, honestly, I need to hook the pattern provider up over here and let it export into there. And then mm, this recipe needs to be done over here. Yeah. Okay. Pattern provider. This recipe needs to take place here. And what I'll end up having to happen is I'm going to have to export out of this some way. So this is going to have this recipe. This is going to, um, sure. That's literally just the only recipe that's going to be in this. It's going to put the accumulation circuit, fluid dust, and silicon. So if I request one of those, um, accumulation, what are you? No, oh, it helps if I hook it up to the network, huh? I'm like, why isn't it working? There, okay. So if I request an accumulation processor, it should put all of that stuff into here. Now I got to figure out how did I configure this to extract and then insert because this is not wanting to insert into this um, for some reason. So let me let me figure out how I set this up many moons ago and we'll be right back. OK, that was easier than I thought. Uh, so it was these cards here. These are the extracts. So I just added the accumulation circuit there and I added the fluix dust into there. And since the fluix dust automatically comes into here, it works. Uh, normally the redstone dust comes in like one of these other ones, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, but yeah, this works. And we can request these accumulation processors. So if I wanted 64 of these, we should. Now it is going to request the printed silicon for each one, which makes sense because normally I wouldn't have a backstuffing of printed silicone here. But this should be requesting those things over here. Yep, sky steel. It's doing the thing. And that should be coming over here and making the processors for me. Yeah. Okay, cool. So that takes care of the accumulation processors for that. Uh, which means I can now go ahead and teach the system how to make these. Now, this is going to be quite a large micro craft. The only other thing that we're going to need to take care of is matter balls. But we can handle that fairly simply. Um, this is this. This is this with ender pearl dust at some point. Four millions. What's crazy is that we didn't use any of these for any of our setup at all. So uh, we have not needed any of this because we're using occultism. So that's fun. It's literally being made just for the quest, not even to benefit us at all. 
but we can go ahead and put that in there. And now we can craft those. We just need to get ourselves um, a matter condenser from Applied Energistics. We need to get ourselves a... Uh, in order to make matter balls, we need a 256, 1K. Uh, we can just pick what we want, right? So I just need a 64K. Yeah, I have that here. Now, the question is, can I feed water into this? Can I do the whole sink thing with um, integrated dynamics and let that do it? I need a fluid interface. I need a fluid exporter. And then I have logic cables. So if I wanted to, if I set this up somewhere and I just needed to be able to import into the system. Um, so over here is perfectly fine. If I take the matter condenser, we set it up, say here, um, but don't let it attach there. Okay. Matter condenser set up here and I'll feed the matter balls out of this. I want to make sure that it is set up to matter balls. Uh, we can put our storage inside of here. 64K, does that work? I go here and I get a sink and I pop the sink here. Fluid interface, fluid exporter. Scroll until I find logic cables, connect, and then grab a variable card. Export all fluids. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And if we do this, does that work? Yeah, that creates matter balls. It's not the fastest thing in the world. Honestly, I thought it would be faster. I thought this would be like instantly exporting. I mean, it is instantly exporting the water into here, but I thought it would be much faster at creating the matter balls. Hmm. Interesting to know that matter balls have EMC too. So we could just EMC these if we wanted to. We really need to get the. Uh, there is. Um, there's like a uh, applied energistics EMC thing. Um, I don't know what the mod is called though. EMC. There's a way to get EMC into applied energistics so that I can use it. Oh, there's a lot of things that have EMC all of a sudden. I don't remember there being 34 pages of stuff that have EMC. A lot more building blocks than there used to be. Um, but yeah, anyway, there's something that allows us... It's part. It's not part of Project E, though. Um, but it allows us to hook up into Applied Energistics. I don't know what it's called, though. Anybody have a hint uh, on that? Let me know, because there. I thought there was... There's an EMC um, condenser or something with Applied. Nope, that's the matter condenser. Yeah, there's something I know. Um, I think Chosen Architect used it. Uh, anyway, that's fine. Whatever. We'll deal with that when the time comes. But we can go ahead and do this for now. Grab our wrench. We can uh, disconnect you and then extract from you. And now it should pull the matter balls out into um, our system. And now we have matter balls available to us, which means we are able to make ourselves a 256 million mega storage component. Wow, we are missing 129,000 redstone, 62,000 certus quartz dust, 16,000 gold, uh, the enderpearl dust I didn't teach, vibrant quartz glass I never taught, and we're only missing eight sand. Uh, the redstone dust and the certus quartz crystals are a problem. Uh, redstone seeds, we're going to grab some redstone seeds, which actually I should have, um, but the certus seeds we don't. So I'm going to get these two going, get those crafting so that way we can produce this. We're also going to need gold seeds, it looks like. I'm running out of gold. Um, sand we have, um, the vibrant quartz glass I need to teach, and the ender pearl dust I need to teach. Vibrant quartz and ender pearl dust. I can do that. Okay, cool. All right. I think that takes care of all of that stuff, um, which puts us honestly uh, at the end of the episode today. Um, next episode, we're going to come back. I'm going to get take care of these things in between episodes. So that way we have this and let, now that I can AFK because of night, I can let this AFK to build up this redstone. Um, and like I can have this auto craft the redstone essence into redstone dust. I'll do the same with the certus quartz. So that way AE doesn't have to handle this at all. Um, 
and just turn this into crystals and gold straight into gold. I'll uh, get crafters set up for those and just let that handle automatically. Um, so that way we get those going and then I can AFK. I don't have to sit here. Oh, I guess I had the ender dust on here. Um, I can just sit here, let it AFK build up. So that way when we come back next episode, we can get those things. Because that's the only thing that we really need other than the ghast. I'll go find the ghast and then obviously the antimatter. Um, but there's nothing we can do about the antimatter as it stands now. Um, let me grab a uh, ender chest and throw that at the end of this. I said I was going to come grab this, but I'm lazy. I don't want to. So we'll just go ender chest and we'll say items output automatically. Let antimatter, you know, go into the system. Okay, so yeah, anyway, that's it for today's episode. If you enjoyed, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate it, and it really does help out the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.